Right, question 18. We are given x to the third secant 2x, and we need to find the derivative for it. Here it is using the chain rule. So derivative with respect to x of x to the third secant 2x. And we want to find uh, the derivative. Uh, to find the derivative here, looks like two things multiplied. x to the third multiplied times six, uh, secant 2x. So we have two items multiplied here. Use uh, multiplication or product formula. If this is u, this is v, the derivative will be u dash v, u dash v plus uv dash derivative of first which is 3x square times the second the second is second second 2x plus the first which is x to the third times derivative of second it has come with derivative of second 2x derivative of second 2x how to find it here derivative of second itself it's second tangent second tangent but we have to go inside and find derivative of 2x which is 2 that's chain rule so you're going to drop 2 here in the front and copy second uh, 2x of uh, times uh, tangent 2x if we look at that uh, question 18 if we look at that you're gonna find that uh, 3x squared second 2x uh, 2x uh, to the third here in the beginning second tangent 2x and then you have 3x squared plus second 2x you could switch that's okay so the answer for that is uh, 18 uh, d question 19 a particle moves along y-axis when the time is zero and more its position given by y of t equals t to the third minus 40 squared plus 40 plus 3 Position could be could be uh, expressed or noted as x of t, y of t, z of t, or even s of t. The following statement describes the motion of the particle at time t equals one. Do you want to find if the particle moving down, moving up, decreasing, or increasing? So we're going to uh, talk about uh, the derivative to find velocity here. So how to find if it's moving down or up. If the velocity is negative, then it's moving down. If the velocity is positive, then it's moving up. So velocity, which is the derivative, y dash of t. So the derivative will be a 3t square, drop 3, 3t square, minus 2 times force 8, 8t, okay. And then we're going to evaluate that at 1. So V of 1 will be 3, 1 is square is 3, minus 8 times 1 is 8, will be negative 5. That's negative. So it's moving down. Okay. How to find out? So it will be A or B? A or B. How to find if it's decreasing or increasing? So look at the acceleration. So we need to do the derivative again for this part. Derivative again. So a of t equals the derivative of v. You find the derivative. Drop 2 in the front to be 6. 2 times 3 is 60. Minus 8. And now we're going to try acceleration at time t equals 1. Equals 6 times 1 is 6. Minus 8 equals negative 2. So it's negative since it's negative then it's decreasing 
So the object or the particle is moving down the y-axis with the decreasing velocity, down and decreasing. So the answer A will be A.